Hi friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to commit and push the project files to a private GitHub repo from your Android Studio. So let's begin. I've just created a dummy project saying, say for example, GitHub private repo dummy project. Just for the demonstration purpose, I'll just create this so that the files gets created. I'll also do one thing, I'll go to my GitHub account and over here in the repositories, I'll do one thing, I'll just create a new repo, name it say for example, <coughs> something like private repo demo, I'll make it private, so for public it's easier, uh, yeah, I'll make it private, there's the things I will do as it is and I will create a repository. It may take a while, yeah, but we will get the HTTPS over here which you can use in your Android Studio to access this particular repo. So I will now go back to my Android Studio and over here I think my environment is also loaded up but that's not required. The steps are pretty simple, you have to just click on this create uh, git repository, it will create it in your local folder first. So if you just click OK, it will create a local master uh, branch in your local. Now what you can do it is you can commit the changes first. So all the files will be of course unversion files. You can name this anything first commit or something like that. And then commit the changes so that all the changes gets into your repository. It may take a while for the first time. It says review code analysis. I will say for now, I'll just click it. I'll just do a commit. And 46 files are done. All these two things can be added to. Yeah, I know that. Okay, now once that is done, then you can push the changes. But for that, we'll have to define the remote here. And that's where that URL of your repo, the demo repo, will help. You have to just copy paste. I'll go back to show. You have to just copy paste this part in this URL. And yeah, again, it may take a while, but yeah, it's asking you to connect, and that's what it becomes. Uh, this demo, uh, this video becomes important. How you can do? Either you can log in via your username and password, but I will prefer the token option. I'll show you why and how to get a token. So let me go back to my uh, repo, and uh, over here in the settings, there should be an option called settings. It's called down developer settings and over here you'll get tokens option token classic or the new one fine grain token so i'll stick to the token classic it's easier it's one token for all the repos but if you want to do a repo wise token you can use this option so i'll just go to token classic and over here generate a new token and just click on this then click on private demo whatever name you can give demo report demo token i'll just append token word here and but please note this will not be just applicable for this uh, repo it will be applicable for you other reports in your github expiration i will just make it shorter i don't want to keep it for long and these are things i think i'll leave it as it is and generate token and make sure that you copy this token because it will not be available so i'll copy i'll do one thing i'll just also keep a copy of this in my notepad and i'll go to back to my android studio and over here i'll just click and see if it works so remote write access to repository not granted so we'll go back and see what's the problem here so i think if i refresh this page this is a token so i think we should give the required permissions which is basically the right permission so right package permission should be given so that we can write to this particular repo and i'm not sure if anything else is required let me just quickly update it and then come back here and try again and let's see if it works this time i'm hoping this should work because yeah See, it's working and you just click push it will push all your files to your repo so i'll just quickly go back to my 
uh, repositories and this is the first repository what we have just now created and perfect so just few minutes back all these files have got pushed here so if you do any changes uh, definitely come so if i can quickly say for example go inside this particular main file and so this is the file name what we gave right so github repo dummy project so that was our name of the file and that comes over here as well so that's all i wanted to show you in this quick video that it's very really easy to connect to the github repo either private or public just you have to create your github repository first in the local and then do a push to the remote and then configure the remote by using the github uh, url and the required token for login token system i prefer because it just uh, expires uh, based on your control and even if it gets leaked by you or someone is using it it will anyway expire after a particular day so it can't be accessed beyond that so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to the channel thank you and have a